Hey, and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Dogecoin Core Wallet. Now, this is different than my previous video, which is to install the Multi Doge Wallet, which is a lightweight wallet. To give you a little bit of background, Multi Doge is like a bare bones version of the wallet. Uh, it skims from the network, gets the information that it only needs, and allows you to perform smaller, medium sized transactions. It's not used for anything intense. You can still import and export private keys. You can back everything up, and it serves the purpose. Because it uses Java, I find it crashes on my PC from time to time, but overall, it gets the job done. Now the core wallet, it can do anything and everything. It's a full client. And by running the core wallet, you're becoming part of the network. You're a Dogecoin node and you retain a full copy of the blockchain. Because it handles all types of transactions, it takes up more space, more bandwidth, more memory, and it's for a more dedicated user. So for me, I personally just use Exodus. It's a very simple wallet. I can use it on my phone. I can use it on my computer. I can use it anywhere. If you're really dedicated to the Dogecoin network, this might be the one for you. So let's get to the installation. So we're going to begin at the desktop. And the first thing we're going to do is open up our browser. Now, the official URL for the website is dogecoin.com. Uh, when you click on wallets, it'll bring you down to these versions. This is the multi Doge one that we did before. And now we're doing the core, Dogecoin Core. Now we're going to be downloading the 64 bit version. You can see there's other versions here to download. It's 14 megs in size, so we'll let that download. And then we'll open up the folder so we can start installing it. So let me minimize this window. And to start installing it, I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to run as administrator just to have any fewer issues. Say yes to the prompt and then we can let it start to install. So the first prompt here is to click on next, and then we don't have any reason to change our directory, so we're gonna click on next, and we're not gonna be changing the default name, so we can click on install, and it'll then unpack and install all the files. This just takes about a minute, and then when it's done, you can click on next, and then we're gonna run it immediately, so we can click on finish with that checked, and it's gonna launch. So here we go, we get a firewall um, authorization message here. Uh, we want to allow access, it does need full access to get through, so we can click on allow access, and our wallet has opened up. So as you can see here, at the bottom, it's connecting to peers, and we're seven years and 18 weeks behind on the data. So as you can imagine, collecting all this data might take some time, download on the PC, and create your own copy. So we'll have to let that download and what we can do while it's doing that is just click on the hide button, let it sync up in the background and I'll go over the features with you. This is the main window of the wallet. You have your send, receive and you have your list of transactions. Uh, the main window also just lets you know what's pending and what's available. If you want a printed copy, go to file and then print a paper wallet. So you can keep a hard copy of this in a filing cabinet or somewhere safe. Now you see this warning message that comes up. It prefers you not to do something like this while you're connected to the internet. So that's why it's prompting it. But you get this nice little pretty wallet that you can print out with QR codes and your, your public address also listed there. So you can click on print and it'll send it there. So let's close out of this. So if you want to request a payment, uh, you click on much receive, click on the request and it generates an address for you. So this is your public address that you can give people. You can copy it and send it, or you can save the QR image. Uh, it saves it as a PNG file, so you can email it or send it to whatever, or display it however you want to display it. So I'll just uh, save a copy of it in my pictures folder, just as an example, so you can see it here. Okay, and then I'll just quickly go over in my folder so you can just see what it looks like. Here it is. So it's a QR code with the address, and it's pretty simple, straightforward. You can you can display it wherever you want to or send it however you want to. So that's how you can receive money. So one other important thing to do here with your Dogecoin wallet is to secure it. So you go to the settings and then encrypt wallet, and then you can enter in a passphrase. Now it has to be uh, a few characters long. Now the recommendation here is to have 10 or more char random characters or eight or more words. Uh, so you're gonna type it in here and then repeat it in the second field. Again, this is something that you want to keep securely to yourself. Maybe write it down on a piece of paper, keep it somewhere safe. And that's the way you secure your wallet. So I showed you how to receive money. Now I'm going to show you how to send money. If you're given an address, you can just paste in the address that's given to you. And then you can label it, give it a name, something just so you can identify the transaction later. Uh, so we'll just put in a name here. 
at least doge and then below you're going to put in the amount we'll just put in a thousand doge and then we'll subtract the fee and below it'll give you an estimate for the transaction fee and it won't give you the proper one until you actually are ready to send it uh, but this is how you send dogecoin i've showed you how to receive it and how to secure it and how to install it we've basically covered all the basics here i hope you enjoyed the video um, if you have any questions you can go ahead and put it in the comments below thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one